So in this exercise, we're still looking at uh, equations involving fractions. In the past, we would have gone ahead and just multiplied by the least common denominator first, and then simplified. In this case, we're going to look at how, uh, essentially, as long as what you're doing to each side is mathematically sound, uh, the, the order doesn't really matter, whether you distribute first or whether you multiply by the LCD first. In this case, we're going to distribute first. So if we distribute the 1 -fifth on the left-hand side, we end up with 1 -fifth n plus 3 fifths. And distributing on the right-hand side, we have 1 -fourth n plus 1 -fourth times 2 is 2 fourths, but that's the same thing as 1 half. And now again, you could go ahead and, and use the fraction. Subtract 1 -fourth n from both sides, or 1 -fifth n, isolate the variable, uh, and solve. But in order to not work with the fractions, we're going to multiply both sides by the LCD. The only difference is this time we distributed first. So what is the least common denominator? What's the least common multiple of 5, 4, and 2? Well, that would be 20. 20 is the first number that all three numbers go into, 4, uh, 5, and 2. So multiply both sides by the LCD which in this case is 20. So we'll go ahead and show multiplying both sides by 20. And then we'll distribute the 20. So 20 times 1 fifth, that's the same thing as 20 divided by 5. So this is going to be 4n. 20 times 3 fifths, that's the same thing as either 20 times 3 divided by 5 or 20 divided by 5 and then multiply by 3. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 20 times 3 fifths is 12. Then 20 times 1 fourth, that's going to be 5n. And then 20 times 1 half is 10. And in this case, you, you have a choice as well. You can subtract. Uh, sometimes people like having the variable terms on the left, regardless of whether they're negative or not. Sometimes, hey, let's work with as many positive numbers as we can so we don't lose the, the negative sign. Either way is fine. I'm going to go ahead and move every variable term to the right so I end up with a positive variable term. So 12 equals n plus 10. And then last but not least, subtract 10 from both sides. And we end up with 12 minus 10 is 2 equals n. So n equals 2. As always, we will check by substituting into the original equation. So 1 fifth times, I'm going to go ahead and use brackets since I'm going to put my substitution in parentheses. We have n equals 2. So we'll go ahead and substitute 2 plus 3. And does that equal 1 fourth times Again, we have n, so we'll substitute 2 for n plus 2. We'll go ahead and simplify what we have inside the parentheses first. So does 1 fifth times 2 plus 3 is 5. Does that equal 1 fourth times 2 plus 2 is 4? And indeed, we end up with 1 equals 1 a true statement when we substitute our solution, which verifies that n equals 2 is the solution to our equation.